Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about hair. I gathered and collected kind of my most loved, most repurchased hair care products. These are products that I've been using for years, products that I continue to purchase. I've actually lost count of how many bottles of these products I have had because I love them so, so much. I'm always trying new makeup. I'm always trying new skincare. I tend to be a creature of habit when it comes to hair care products. I'm gonna share with you kind of my most loved, most repurchased. Just. These certainly are not all the products that I use, but these truly do make the cut of just the most repurchased and used products. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up, I'm just gonna randomly grab these in no particular order. Okay, you will notice a theme here, and I'm going to give a little disclaimer up front. Most of these products are from Orbe. This is not sponsored by Orbe. I have never received free product from Orbe. My very sweet, generous hairstylist, Gracie, has been kind enough to gift me free product from Orbe, but Orbe has no idea who I am. So this might seem like a sponsored video because a lot of this is Orbe, but I promise you and assure you it is not. I always disclaim sponsored videos. This is the Royal Blowout from Orbe. This is very pricey. All of Orbe products are going to be pricey hair care products. I will just say that. This is kind of more of the more higher end for what you kind of think that it is, but I tell you it is worth it. It makes such a difference in the blow in my blowout process. So what this is, is it's a spray, but it's a lightweight oil. So the way that I wash my hair is I'll wash my hair. I will put my heat protectant, which we'll actually get to in a minute. I have that in here. I I will dry my hair to about 85% or so. Then I will go in and section my hair. Then I will use this product. And I spray each section with this product um, before I go in and use a round brush. It's an oil, but it's a lightweight oil. I spray from far away just so that one spray covers a lot of hair and also that I don't spray too much of this. Because it is an oil, I don't wanna to apply too much of this because I don't wanna wash my hair every day or even every other day. I like to get three or four days out of my hair if I can. So I keep it far away. I, I basically spray one side here, one side here. I wanna tell you this, if you have tile floors or wood floor, anything slippery in your bathroom, go into another room and spray this. I have to walk into my closet where I have carpet to spray this because I have almost slipped before because I will spray it on my bathroom and then my tile gets super slippery because of the oil. So go into another room if you, have, if you don't have carpet. Spray, then take your round brush and blow dry each section. This just makes the hair shiny and silky and it like eliminates frizz. When I don't use this, I just notice my hair looks frizzier. It doesn't look as shiny. It doesn't look as smooth. It doesn't look as silky. This makes such a difference. I would say one bottle lasts me, I don't know, maybe five months or so, but I only wash my hair every three or four days. So depending on how much hair you have and how often you wash it, you'll go through this more frequently or less frequently. Okay, next up, let's pull out here. I have my Orbe Invisible Defense. This is my heat protection. So this is the first product that I spray on my hair after I get out of the shower and I towel dry my hair. This just gets sprayed kind of all over. I don't really spray this in sections. I just spray it all over. It's a heat protectant, so it's great to use before you blow dry your hair. This is really good. I have another one. I wanted to give you guys another option because I like this one too. I don't know the price of this one, but I think it might be less than the Orbe. So I wanted to show you the two that I use and continue to use and continue to purchase just in case the Magic Mist. This is the In Common Magic Mist in case it's a little cheaper. This, they both smell incredible. This one, I actually prefer the smell even more, which is odd because or everything or base smells incredible, but I love this. This is a universal elixir. It protects, strengthens, and hydrates. It's also, you know, a heat protectant. So either one of these I love. I use them both depending on, if I were out of them, I'd probably repurchase the Orbe Invisible Defense over the Uncommon, but this is great as well. All right, you guys, let's move over here. I don't really have a lot, actually. I really wanted to curate this down to what I truly, truly just continue to repurchase. I have a ton of products. I have a ton of Orbe products, but these are the ones that I really, really love. I will share the shampoo and conditioner that I use that I didn't bring with me. Okay, this other product, I'm just gonna share it because I have to be honest with you guys because it leads me into the last product that I'm gonna share with you, which this product is not a product that I've used for years. This product is a product I've used for a couple of months. But before you jump on my throat about how this video is only supposed to be about products I've used forever, I do have a reason that I'm including this and I will explain. Okay, so the one product that is, look at this box, this is gross. Um, the one product that is like my most repurchased used forever is this product right here. And unfortunately, 
unfortunately, Orbe has discontinued it. I don't know why. Why, Orbe? Why would you discontinue something that was so perfect? This is the Orbe Shine Light Reflective Spray. And I have this new bottle because Gracie was so kind and generous and she knew that how much I love this and that I wouldn't be able to get it, so she gave it to me. But when this runs out, this is what I will probably be repurchasing to take its place. So the way that I use this is as a finishing spray. Once my blow dry is completely done, I spray it all over the hair and I just run my fingers through my hair and it just gives that last little veil of shine and it just makes my hair look silky. It's super lightweight. This is by Dry Bar and this is a product I discovered a couple months ago when I worked with Dry Bar. This is a the Final Call Frizz and Static Control Mist and this is great. I have a ton of little flyaways up here. You guys probably notice them all the time in my videos and this does give a shine to the hair. It's extremely lightweight just like the Orbe Light Reflection Spray is but it's also, I don't want to say it's like a hairspray but it does just like smooth all the little flyaways in and just make everything real smooth. It reminds me of the same type of texture and spray as the Orbe and it kind of accomplishes the same thing but almost a little bit better because it does tame away flyaways where the Orbe Light Reflection did not. And I don't know the cost on both what this used to run but I imagine Dry Bar is going to be less expensive than Orbe. So I wanted to share this with the disclaimer that I have not repurchased this yet because this is brand new but I'm really loving it and it is replacing the product that I can no longer purchase that I love. Okay, so let's talk about shampoos and conditioners. I didn't bring mine because mine are really disgusting. They've been in my shower, so they're full of soap scum and I do the refillables. So the bottles that I have are, are literally, I don't know, a year old or so. I use Orbe and I've tried several of their different lines of shampoo and conditioner. And I have to say for my particular hair type, the Gold Lust is my favorite. Currently I'm using this signature shampoo and conditioner and I haven't loved that one as much because I feel like it's not as hydrating as the Gold Lust is. And Gracie explained to me that the signature shampoo is really cleansing. So it's not going to feel the same as like the Gold Lust because it does remove and cleanse everything out of the hair, which is important. You need that. You know, if you're not doing that, then you have other issues, you know, that can come up like dandruff or scalp issues or all of the things. So I'm trying to find the best combination, but I think that for conditioners, I really love the Gold Lust conditioner. I love the Gold Lust shampoo and conditioner, but I do think that the Gold Lust signature shampoo is good to incorporate in every couple of washes for me to just make sure I'm really cleansing and getting all that out. But the signature conditioner, it's just not hydrating enough. It's just not, doesn't make my hair feel like when I get out of the shower and I comb and brush my hair, it doesn't have that same like silky, like creamy feel that I love and I crave. So I would recommend personally for my hair type, the Gold Lust shampoo and conditioner. But again, it's going to be different for everybody. I have thick, coarse hair, so I don't mind if products are a little heavier. If I had thin, fine hair or that the Gold Lust is too heavy, I don't know. But that is my experience with the shampoo and the conditioners and which ones are my favorites. A less expensive option that I really love is the Colleen Rothschild shampoo and their conditioner is so, so good. The conditioner is a little bit heavier, but I mean, your hair just feels super shiny and just silky. I have to wash it a little more frequently when I use that conditioner, but I do love that combo as well. I'll have all of these products listed in links so you can see and compare the different price points. Orbe does have some discovery kits. You can buy smaller sizes to see if you really like it. I made the mistake of buying the big, the, like the biggest ones you could find. I think it was like a hundred and I don't know, $120 or something for the shampoo, 120. I mean, it was absurd. I bought that in the signature and I didn't love it. And then I, of course I'm going to use it all because I'm not going to let it go to waste, but I would recommend if you haven't tried Orbe to start with some of the smaller sizes, if you are curious and you might want to invest in that uh, quality of hair care products. So those are my most used, most loved, most repurchased hair care products. I would love all your questions. Let me know down below. If you guys want more hair tutorials, I usually post a lot of those on Instagram, but if you want me to start sharing them here, let me know and I'm happy to do that. My new haircut has been fun to kind of learn how to style. I haven't yet curled it with a curling iron, which is interesting because for the while I was always curling my hair when my hair was longer. I felt like I had to for it to actually look good, but I really like my hair just blow dried straight with the shorter style. Let me know what you think. Think. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.